this, right, <laughs> this is Langland. Step one of the epic journey. This could be a nice short walk or tune in for day 47 when we're hopelessly lost. Wish us luck. Modelling the latest in buff fashion, we have one Mr. Neil Cowland <laughs> going for the Foreign Legion look. <laughs> We've been going now for about 36 seconds and Neil has decided that he needs a break. <laughs> I'm leaving, you can catch up. Fine. <laughs> Basically, training in London is boring, so we've come to the seaside. Look, seaside. Mm, Over there, seaside. Nice seaside. <laughs> so we're walking a coastal path to do some training here, which is just far more fun. That's just showing off. That's a full nice <laughs> Jogging, honestly, what a silly idea. Watch <laughs> right, Claire and the sea. So here we are, part of the way around the journey. As we pan around, Claire gets rather excited with a little fist clench, but there is Caswell. That is where we're going to next. But first of all, we've got to take the long and windy path to get there. But it's been really nice so far. Nice and easy. Last shot of Claire to prove she's actually on this walk. You've heard her. Now you see her wave. Farewell for the first little while. I'm guessing not a lot of people come up this way. We could be the first explorers for many years to have come up this way. <laughs> Maybe we should have stuck to the main road. But hey, this is going to be far more It's an adventure, fun. Claire! <laughs> have I mentioned that I've got a really, really big fear of heights and we're walking along a path that does that? <laughs> ah! We have spotted a bench on the far side. And not too late either. It could be just what we need. <laughs> I think we'll be heading for that next so that we can sit down and enjoy some of these stunning views. Or oh, the cave in the cliff. You spotted a cave. Mm, come round to the end of the gorse bush. <laughs> now there's an invitation you can't refuse. Come brandy. round to the end of the gorse bush. <laughs> you keep saying brandy. I'm not convinced it'd be brandy. It's brandy cove. True, very true. That could be it then. Four. <laughs> four? Isn't this three? Oh, it's probably four. Caswell. Two Caswells, okay. Some boys are never happy till they've had the chance to play on the sand. Right. This way. Hello. Right. Um, while I'm sat here waiting for Neil um, to come up from playing on the beach, just want to take this opportunity to tell you a little bit more about why we're actually doing this whole Hadrian's Walk thing. Uh, basically, it's come about because Dan, um, infamous blogger Dan, he of the ukulele and the um, podcasting and the chickens. Yes, the chickens. Um, last year he went on a walk with some friends of his to raise money for the Joseph Salmon Trust, um, which is a charity that um, raises money to help people pay for the funeral costs of, or funeral costs or time off work if they're self-employed or various other things if they ever suffer the hor horrible, horrible um, problem of um, being bereaved of a child, um, which is a problem that um, Neil Salmon happened they lost their little boy Joseph so this year um, to continuing the spirit that, that Dan put forward we are doing a walk across Hadrian's Wall it's about 50 people in total doing it some walking east to west some walking west to east um, to raise money the aim is to raise about 20,000 pounds for this little charity so this walk is being underdone by underdone undertaken by people from all over the place we've got people from England Scotland various sort of you know 
GB type people. Um, we've also got people coming over from the US. We've got some Dutch bloggers, I think, who are coming over. Um, all sorts of different exciting people coming together for this one cause. People, most of whom have never met each other. Few have, but not all of them have by any stretch of the imagination. Um, we're going to plan is to do Hadrian's Wall in five days. Um, we're stopping off at um, youth hostels and, and bunk houses and things along the way. And then the two groups that are going east to west and west to east are going to meet up in the middle for a great big barbecue and probably a piss up. But that's all to the good too. Right, we've now made it round so that we can see Puff D. Apparently the tide isn't out far enough for us to actually go playing with the rock pools, but never mind, it's still pretty. And the translation of Puff D is Black Pool. So we're now at Blackpool. That's quite a way. We walked farther than I thought we had. Where are the amusements? Can I have and an ice cream? That. There's some people there. They'll amuse us. I want an ice cream and I go on the roller coaster. The and last, the trams. The like last, the trams. The house there, which is actually the Pleasure Beach. <laughs> Apples. The snack of choice for all healthy Hadrian's walkers. First casualty, Claire has stung herself on the widest path we have been on yet. Stingy nettle and yet, got me. Stingy nettle, I don't know. Some people just not cut out for the country life. I'm not convinced this whole dog leaf remedy works as well as people claim it does. Herbal medicine, pah. I have to see what Simon Singh has to say on the issue. Simon Sting, Singh doesn't get <laughs> stung. <laughs> You might not believe me, but that little speck is a swallow. Yay! <laughs> Thanks, babe. Just one more to see still. And a little tiny sailing boat. Can I have the little tiny sailing boat? No. <laughs> Can't reach. A mixture of wildlife here. We have in the background the elephant. You say it's There's its head and its back. But also we have the cows of Gower. <laughs> for here they are. Hundreds and hundreds for all the eye can see. Ice cream. The just reward for a walk wealth completed. <laughs> Had to be an ice cream at the end, really. We're here now, which is pretty. We've done our walk. I think we've established that, no, we're not as fit as we'd like to be, but we're also not, perhaps not as unfit as we'd maybe feared. The worst thing is going to be when we realise just how short this walk was, and how long the real ones are going to be day after day. So never mind. Here we are, Fox Hall Bay, and Hennard's little store, a car park owned by the National Trust. Uh, yes, I'm very happy about things. <laughs> Cheers.